Hey guys, Patton here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up a Bluetooth controller to use with HackG for your Sega Genesis Mini. Not all Bluetooth controllers are compatible. I can tell you for certain that PS4 controllers and most 8-bit Doe controllers will work. All you need is a Bluetooth adapter. I'll put the one I use up on the screen here and I'll also have it linked down below in my description. We have Dan the Man 827 to thank for this one. He made this so easy to do and it's really quick to get it going. Let's get started. First thing you want to do is hack your system with HackGCE. I'll have a link in my description for a tutorial video showing you how to do that. Once you have your system hacked, go into your modules tab and install extra modules. This is what we're looking for, Blue Z. This comes included with HackG so you don't have to download anything extra. Check the box next to Blue Z, hit OK at the bottom. After it's finished installing, hit OK and you'll see you have a new tab at the top here for Bluetooth. This is when you want to plug in your Bluetooth adapter. You can use either a controller port or if you have an OTG adapter, you can use that as well. Something to note, if you have a controller plugged into controller port 1, that will take priority and the Bluetooth controller will be considered controller 2. After you've inserted your adapter, you can click on the Bluetooth tab to see if it's compatible. If you have this right here, it means it's working. I don't know who Kate is and I don't care about her PC. For this demonstration, I'm going to use my 8-bit Doe FC30 Pro controller. I'm going to power it on. Then I'm going to hold the sync button until the lights start blinking. Now if we look over back at Hackchi, you can see that it's being detected. We'll click on this. Now if we look at the controller, the lights have stopped blinking, meaning that it has been synced to the Sega Genesis Mini. Also, you can connect up to seven devices with this. That is insane. Let's head over to the system and take a look at our controller. On the Sega Genesis Mini menu, as you can see, this controller is not hooked up to anything by any wires, and when we push the direction pad, it works great. When using a controller like this, it functions with the A, B, and C buttons in this orientation. Let's try a couple games out. This works both in Retroarch and M2 Engage games. So if you start up Sonic and Knuckles with M2 Engage, The game is working great wirelessly. And when playing M2 Engage games, instead of holding down the start button to get into the menu, you hit select and it will automatically bring it up. Let's take a look at Super Mario 64 next. So with a game like this, you can see the analog stick is working perfect. Just a quick test of all the buttons and the analog stick here. And I didn't have to map any of my controllers. It automatically detected what controller I was using and it mapped them appropriately. Gonna hold down the start button for two seconds to go back to our RetroArc menu. Back out to the main menu. Let's start up Sonic 3 and Knuckles one more time in RetroArc by hitting start. So just like M2 Engage, the controller functions just the same. You have A, B, and C buttons here. Yeah. 
And there you go, perfect Bluetooth compatibility with the Sega Genesis Mini and Hack GCE. I think it's really cool that you can use these controllers with M2 Engage and RetroArch. I mentioned in the beginning of the video, there's only been a few controllers that have been tested with this. So if you try one of your controllers and it doesn't work right away, the Hack G guys can try and work and get compatibility with it when they have time. That's all I have for you guys. So if you have any questions, I'll have the Rockin' the Classics Discord linked in my description. I hope this video can be helpful for you guys. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. This is the part of the video where I thank those users who support the channel through YouTube memberships and Patreon. Eric Colon, Jordy Alex, Mike Muniz, Sam Torres, Dor, Yaroslav Orudzov, Den Cardoso, Andre G, Randy Day, and Batman.